Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Mother 3. Last time, well, we all show we already showed how the rope stake is important to this game. In this part, well, we're about to run into an enemy. With awesome music! Okay, Carpet Monster, anyways, let's go ahead and immediately use Siren Beetle to turn it around. That can be good. Did not work. Well, before anything else, let's go ahead and use the Scary Mask to lower its offense. And now you use the Siren Beetle again. Increasing the offense again. And there's the tail. Use Scary Mask again to lower his offense. Thankfully it's not using it. Four hit combo! I was just mashing the button! I was just mashing the button, guy! Ah, uh, jeez, I fell over. So I lose a turn. Oh, come on, get up, Duster, you... Okay, I only need one hit left. Okay. Let's use one beef jerky. And here's a ghost here. I knew you... Rather strong, but the suit of armor and sight here is definitely no pushover either. I'm talking incredibly strong here. If you think you're up to the challenge, I'll move out of the way. Regular items, mythical thief tools, use whatever you can to cling, cling, boom, bang this guy into submission. I know. Okay, he says the same thing. Yes, in here is a very very powerful enemy. First up, go ahead and get the durable shoes to increase our offense all the way up to 44. Offense increased by 12. Very nice. So anyways, we basically have the best equipment up to this point. Uh... I think I, I'm worried that I might be under-leveled for this guy, but I'm almost close. If I am under-leveled, I'll go ahead and um, do off-screen training. But let's go ahead and attempt this guy either way. Just walk up to the armor. The other two items will come together and you'll get the Ghost Knight. And there... We go! Duster has a chance of attacking the enemy immediately at the beginning of the battle. Anyways, first thing to do, lower his offense with Scary Mask. Awesome, defreeze by 13. Only to replenish it. And did not work. Shoot. That can't be good. Lower it again. Still very powerful. Let's use the tickle stick. Did not work. Try to look cool. Did not work. Come on, tickle stick. Okay. Decrease by seven. Swung a sword, let's go ahead and heal ourselves up with... Good thing we got plenty of beef jerky. Oh, come on! <laughs> Didn't have enough PP, huh? Awesome, he can't raise his stats anymore! Come 
come on. Dun 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 dun. Okay, another beef jerky. Okay, swung a sword. Let's go ahead and wait till we're fully healed before we continue battling. Should be up here. Try to look cool. Now you're just wasting turns, and there we go. Wait a minute. Awesome, got yogurt. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. That thing had a back sprite. I'll be right back, guys! Okay, I go ahead and got the... Back sprite. Once an empty handed armor gets a hold of his sword and shield, terrible things happen. Now you be thinking, leave the room and just never come back here, right? Wrong. You want to go over here and back attack. Because the sword and shields are actually separate enemies. Stab with a sword. Technically, that means you stabbed with yourself. And go behind the shield. And there we go. Wow, you have to troll a low face, really? He's grinning. He's so smug. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. There we go, and so now we got the back sprite for both his sword and his shield. It's funny that they're actually just a bunch of enemies stuck together. And now he's just a regular ghost armor. That we get, well, some ghost armor suddenly detect. Dead a bum rush. Yeah, he's not nearly as tough now without his sword. Wait, did that have. Was that a separate enemy? I don't think so. I think it's just the regular ghost armor. Okay, there's ghost armor. And ghost knight. Okay. Actually going back to the hot springs and healing. Unintentionally defeated a monster with 1 HP left. Okay, going back to heal. That was not on my way back. That was actually just on my way to the hot springs, so... Yeah. Okay, I'm back. And... Let's go up these stairs then, huh? It's a girl. Oh, uh, it's a lady. A beautiful lady. Ah, uh, jeez, who's ever gonna get that reference? And we seem to have obtained a pendant of some sort. A pendant dropped by a girl seen inside Nosoe Castle. Well, here's a safe frog, so we know that we're about halfway through the dungeon. And you know what? I think I'm gonna end it off here. So, next time on Let's Play... Mother 3, we're gonna go ahead to the upper portions of the castle and do some more exploration, see if we can get that item that Wes was talking about. 
see you guys next time.